Hello, and welcome to another edition of Parent Quick Smart, the place where you concept to 1000. During this unit, students explore the structure of the base 10 system, flexible representations of numbers, number patterns, and comparing numbers. You may recall in the last unit, the learning focused on the relationships between the ones and tens place. Students further their exploration of the structure of place value, discovering that a group of 10 tens is 100. The base 10 manipulative used to represent 100 is called a flat. Remember, mathematical understanding is best developed through three stages, concrete, pictorial, and abstract. This picture shows how a student built the number 586 concretely using base 10 manipulatives. The learner transfers the physical manipulative work to quick pictures as shown here in the pictorial stage. The valuable time spent working with number concepts concretely and pictorially produces students who are confident and proficient with the abstract. For example, a student may be asked, what is the value of the manipulative shown here? During this phase of learning, most students will recall grouping sets of 10 to count more efficiently. The learning will focus in on the relationship that 10 tens is 100. In the previous unit, students learn multiple ways to record the value of a two-digit number. This knowledge will then be applied in the context of three-digit numbers. So, given the following manipulatives, a student will be able to identify the value in standard form, base 10 language, word form, and expand it form. Just as in the previous unit, students continue to strengthen their number sense by representing numbers flexibly. This flexible thinking enhances aptitude for mental math and will prepare the learner for understanding regrouping in later units focused on addition and subtraction. For example, the value 234 may be expressed as 200, 310, four ones, or 23 tens, four ones, or 34 ones, 10 tens, 100. There are many other ways 234 can be flexibly represented. Challenge your child to come up with some more ways. Students will demonstrate their proficiency with flexible number representation in problem solving tasks like the one shown here. Lena and Lakeisha each built a number with manipulatives. Lena's number has two flats, 15 rods, and three units. Lakeisha's number has three flats, four rods, and 13 units. Which girl's number has a greater value? Justify your thinking using words and or pictures. One student may grab base 10 manipulatives to solve this problem, as shown here. This physical interaction with the tools allows the learner to regroup the values concretely, finding that each girl's number is actually the same. Another child who has a strong understanding of the concrete phase may have drawn a quick picture to solve as shown here. Notice how the learner circled groups of 10 in the picture and used arrows to model regrouping. Remember, when solving problems, there are multiple correct solution paths. Students who have a strong conceptual understanding of place value may solve this task by creating a number sentence to combine the values given as shown here. It is important not to jump to the most efficient strategy prior to giving your child time to delve into the concept at the concrete and pictorial level. The majority of instructional time is spent developing proficiency with three-digit numbers. And as students become more comfortable, they will discover that when you have 10 hundredths, you can regroup to make 1,000. The content in second grade is limited to 1,000. The hundredths chart, shown here, is a familiar tool for primary students. The learner realizes that as you move down a column, the value increases by 10. And in contrast, as you move up a column, the value decreases by 10. Students may face problem-solving tasks like this. 
The attendance at the state fair increased the same amount every day from Monday until Friday. The chart below shows the number of people who attended the fair on the first three days of the week. How many people attended the fair on Friday? The students' work shown here chose to solve this problem by creating an open number line. And notice the attendance increased each day by 100. Extending the pattern, the student learns that 759 people attended on Friday. In the last portion of this unit, the student synthesizes place value understanding to compare numbers using the language less than, greater than, and the same as or equal to. The words eventually become interchangeable with the mathematical symbols less than, greater than, and equal to. Numbers are everywhere. The next time you are walking in your neighborhood, take a look at the house numbers. Ask your child, what is the value of the six on Mr. Bowen's house? Do the numbers increase or decrease as we walk from our house towards Denise's house? How could we represent our house number in another way? Is this Friday's family night a just dance-a-thon at your house? At the end of each song, check out the points earned by each dancer. Who has a greater score? What is the value of the seven in grandma's score? Bring some joy to paying the bills. Sit with your child and show them an example of how you use word form as you fill out your checks. Engage your child in conversations about the numbers listed on the particular bill. This eye-opening experience just might help your little one remember to shut off the lights before leaving for school. Thanks for joining us today on Parent Quick Smarts. Remember, the best way to support your child's education is to keep in communication with your child's teacher. Until next time, check out these websites and we'll see you next episode.